Good morning. I am over here in Northeast Portland today. And just give me a quick second here. Let's get this light going. Ta da! So I am using my selfie stick that I got for Christmas for the very first time. I keep on forgetting to bring it with me. So excuse me if I am <laughs> looking in the wrong spot. So I need to be looking over here where the camera is and not over there where the top is. So thanks for hanging with me. So today I wanted to talk specifically about reinspections. So in my first time home buyer class, we talk a lot about the inspection itself, the home inspection, and we talk about what happens um, during the home inspection, what items the home inspector looks for, um, how we ask the seller to do repairs, how we negotiate that, and make sure that uh, you as a home buyer are protected. Wow. It's kind of hard to hold this selfie stick. I gotta get better at this. Hold it like that. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, um, but we don't talk a lot about what to do after repairs are complete or how we verify that they're complete because what's the point of asking for repairs if they're not correctly done then you're, or if they did not get done? Who verifies that? How is that verified? And whatnot. So we're going to walk and talk because I like it. Um, so today we're in Northeast Portland, or I am anyways, um, looking at this house that my buyer is under contract for. We close at the end of the week and we have got notifications that the repairs are complete from the seller's agent and we are now here verifying with the home inspector that those repairs are indeed complete. Still having issues with this selfie stick. <laughs> technology these days, I tell you. Um, anyway, so the home inspector met me here and we went over the list of items that we asked the seller to complete. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about those for this specific house, but I would say it's a handful of repair items and a few bigger items. So what the home inspector does is he goes and checks each of those items just like he would during a normal home inspection and make sure um, that those things are complete and working properly. And, you know, not all my buyers choose to do a reinspect, and I always recommend that they do just for their protection and just for their knowledge that repairs are done complete before we close on the deal. One of the reasons that my buyers don't ask for it is because it is a, an additional cost. So, whereas the home inspection costs probably anywhere between $400 and $500, um, depending on the size and age of the house. Uh, the reinspect usually takes a portion of that time depending on how many items the buyer has asked for um, to be repaired. Um, there is still another cost. So usually I see it's around $150 to $200 for the inspector to come back out and verify that those repairs are done. And the reason that there's a cost associated with it is because that he does another report with pictures and a write-up and sends it to the buyer and hopefully the real estate agent to review because if there are items that are incomplete, we need to be able to ask the seller to do those. So um, sometimes the buyer doesn't want to pay for that cost because they've already paid for the inspection one time around, the sewer scope, the radon, all that stuff, um, and they're having to bring in, oh, that lighting is much better, a huge down payment. Um, and sometimes the items on the <clears throat> repair addendum are, you know, there's something that we could verify ourselves, but not all the time. Like if it's plumbing or electrical or this house has a new roof on it, I am not a contractor, so I probably would not do a very good time or a very good job verifying those repairs. Now sometimes the repairs can be verified by just checking out receipts or having pictures of those repairs completed and usually that's sufficient. Um, but in this case, there was some electrical, there was some plumbing and some bigger items that the buyer chose to have uh, reinspection done. And so again, in this case, 
and not always, but I would say at least 50% of the time, the repairs are not all the way done. So we're going to use that report that the inspector is going to write up with um, showing the repairs that aren't complete, send it over to the seller, and tell them that they need to complete these repairs because our sale and the buyer's purchase of this property is contingent on his satisfaction of those repairs and I make sure that I write that up in the contract because I want the buyer protected and I want him happy, him or her happy. So that's what <coughs> that's what we're going to do. So uh, to break it down because of course this has gone longer than I originally intended it to because I like to talk. Um, so the re-inspection happens after we've negotiated repairs, after the seller has completed those repairs and told us the buyers that the repairs have been complete. <clears throat> then we would contact the original home inspector, have him come back out, verify those repairs are complete. In the event that they are not complete, we send over <coughs> a list of the items that have not been complete and let the seller know these need to be complete before we agree to close on the house. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Um, and sometimes we have had have had to hold up closing to get those um, repairs complete. I'm completely okay with that. I want my buyer to be happy and satisfied. So today specifically, um, most of the big stuff is complete, so I'm feeling good about everything. But we're going to ask the seller to uh, make sure that he has his plumber, electrician, and a few others come back and just finish a, a, a few things just like we agreed to in the contract. So anyways, if you are having any questions about anything that has to do with the home buying process or the home selling process, I could go into detail about how we deal with re-inspect from the seller side as well. But today I'm representing the buyer, so that is what we're talking about. Um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always available. You can just reach out to me via Facebook or um, I don't know, I think there's an email link on my Facebook. I do Instagram stuff all the time too, so if you don't know how to connect with me, <laughs> you're not trying very hard. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I want everyone to have a super wonderful day. We are having our next home buyer class on March 10th, so if you are interested in coming to that free class, just let me know and I will direct you on how to RSVP. Elise, girl, thanks for watching. Uh oh, girl, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. I hope everyone has a great day.